Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to the free show. Bumpy Pink Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Orion, a legacy of the Cory Odin. It is by Kiro O Games. It released today, April 14th, 2016, and it's for 15% off through till April 21st. Now, if you guys recall, and you've been around the channel for any length of time, or a very long length of time, I actually did a first look video on this game way back when it was being developed, and it was on Steam Greenlight. That being said, I figured I'd give it a shot once it was fully released. I don't know if I'm going to go with a miniseries, a full playthrough, or what. I don't know what my plans are for this right now. But either way, I wanted to start up some coverage of it and see where it took us. That being said, let's hop in and begin, shall we? Alright, let's start with a new game. Now, I haven't really played it much since way back in the day, so be aware of that. Alright, can I move? Oh, no, not yet. The city of Zama. In a few hours, I will be king. All my people count on me to guide them. Am I ready? Irene and I have passed the Nogandu ritual. I'm sure I'm going to butcher many of these words, by the way, guys and gals. I do apologize if it's some sort of sacred thing and I completely mess it up. I, I'm sorry. We have proven to the ancestors that we are very linked, but... Am I really ready to be a good king? Will Ernie, or sorry, Irene, well, Ernie, will Irene be the queen Zama needs? Hopefully Ernie's not the queen. That would be a little bit troubling. Tsk. Doubtless I'm worrying for nothing. I'm marrying the most beautiful woman in Zama. And my people trust me. All right, I will walk a bit. The Prince of Zama's last ballad. Yeah, that sounds good. I should go and speak with a Gryot of a Zama, or the Gryot, or Gryot of Zama. He used to counsel my father in his moments of doubt. He must be under the palaver tree, telling stories to children. All right, walk around with a left stick. By the way, this has full controller support, guys and gals, so if you have an Xbox controller or PS3, I'm sure PS4 controllers, all that stuff should work with this game. And worst case scenario, you just emulate everything as an Xbox controller, and it works fine. Or Xbox 360 controller. Alright, there we go. We shall move Enzo in every direction. When you are next to a character, press the X button to interact. Alright, sounds good to me. Oh, yes, yeah, see how I like teleported? It's like, Alright, I wish to X you. The Garden of Odanes is a fairly peaceful place. All the kings of Zama rest and meditate here. I make sure that all the plants stay beautiful. Thanks for taking care of this place. My parents loved it a lot. You're welcome. All right, let's move on down here, guys. Uh, be, be aware, I'm just getting over being sick. I've had the flu over the weekend. I'm mostly better, but I still get, like, stuff caught in my throat every once in a while. I have to clear my throat occasionally. So I may pause randomly. And I believe when I pause and mute, it kills my controller. So just be aware of that. It's fine, though. It'll be okay. Hello, Prince Enzo. It said this is the great day. Yes, I'm going for a last stroll in the city before the ceremony. Hey, you're not giving them too much to eat. This chicken? You'll need chicken for the party later. It's worth a last nice day. She says it so calmly. Chicken murderer! You murder chickens! It's fine. Alright, well, let's see. There's a nice woodland animal over there. Apparently I can't walk over here. So we're going to run on over this way. I can talk to the guard. Hello, Prince Enzo. If you take this path, you will go down the main alley of the palace. Cool. To the main alley! Rocking out to the music. The Royal Alley of Zama. Oh, uh, we can pick flowers and frolic and stuff. Alright, I guess we want to go over here across this ginormous bridge. My goodness. The bridge is quite large. Hello, old person. This cave is called Odane Lituba. Sure. The residents of City Zama can come pray to the ancestors here. The Orion is indeed perceptible here. Okay. Can we go in? Oh, we totally can. Let's go see what's up. The Odane Lituba. Sure, I butchered that, by the way. 
We received the instructions of the ancestors for the ceremony. We can usually hear their voices here. Sweet. I can't talk to you. Oh, if I go up here, I can't. Hello! Mammy Makala told me that <laughs> you are a little stressed. Take these plants and roots with some bread. You'll feel better afterward. I bet I will. Hey, we got ourselves some... What was that? Foliary's leaf, bread, and ginger roots. Alright, cool. Thanks, Honorable Amiya. I have to admit that I felt kind of ill. Alright, cool. We have never celebrated a marriage at the same time as a coronation, but it will be an interesting or it will be interesting to adapt our customs for a new generation. By the way, folks, if you hadn't guessed or you hadn't noticed, this is actually a African developed game, which is pretty cool, because I haven't actually seen a lot of games developed out of Africa. I'm not saying that they don't exist, and I'm definitely not saying it's a bad thing. I just I haven't seen a lot. So it's always cool to actually see, you know, how different cultures and different peoples come up with different ideas and concepts for video games or anything really I'm always I've always been fascinated and I don't know blown away by the differences in people in general even just like the same type of people or the same race or whatever the case is like you know me and a friend could have completely contrasting ideas of what's good and what's bad so you have to think uh, a whole new culture you know, they're going to have completely different ideas that maybe I never even thought of. So, i, I got to say, I'm eager and I'm excited to see. Time passes so quickly, Princess Enzo. You are becoming a king and a husband. Me? I've been Hakima for a couple of days. Indeed, even yesterday we ran under the rain to look for locusts. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see here. Can't talk to those guys. What is that thing he's got? He's got a cool, like, weird weed whacker type situation, or weed eater, or... What do they call it here? Uh, I think my wife calls it a whipper snipper. Yeah, that thing. Alright, let's talk to you. Hakima Shate. The old Griot Omugu... Omugu... Held class under the tree to the right. That brings back old memories. I bet it does. Hello, young prince. Having a last stroll before the crown? I am certain your father would be proud of you. Triple dot! Hey, are you taking your last stroll as a free man? <laughs> if I were you, I would have been I wouldn't. I would have been running away from here. I bet you would. I'd fail in my duty if I left... If I left the you... The you of girls... Huh. If I left the you of girls of Zama defenseless... Okay. With a seducer like you, my friends. Well, I gotta say, the, the the English can be improved a little bit. It's not bad. I actually remember this game when I originally played it. The English was really, really bad. Now, it's there's a few things that are a little bit off, but it's not too bad. And I'm sure that'll all be worked out as more and more people play it and point out the mistakes. So, you know, when you when you come through a full project, uh, there's oftentimes going to be things that are missed in Q, or, you know, QC quality control. So you're going through, you're rewriting the script, and then you just you blank on something, or you skip something, or you miss it, or whatever the case is. So I, you know, I don't begrudge them right now that there's still going to be a few things here and there that are wrong. Uh, my childhood friend, the prince is getting married. Finally, I guess we have finally become adults. Uh, all right. So what I would say in this one, I'd fail in my duty if I left the likes of you. Hmm. If I left the girls of Zama defenseless with a seducer like you, my friend, that's what I would have put. I think that I left the you girls of is a little bit bizarre. It's okay. It's okay. Once married, you will come here and discuss with us. You know, Irene, if I succeed in leaving the palace, it will be leave the palace. Hmm. Okay. Too bad. We had a lot of fun together, but I guess that's what it means to grow up. Everyone must set up a home now. I don't know what that means. It's okay. Like I said, there will be some uh, inconsistencies in the language, and that's cool. Say, my prince, there will be some sort or some archie at the feast, right? Yes, it's a promise, Sand Jaga. You could even come back with a full gourd just for yourself. Sweet. Not like they're doing hair. That's cool. I can see that the dreadlocks I made are holding up still. You have a lot of hair, boy, it seems. 
Yes, it's a Cory Odin family thing, but I will still come and do my braids here. When Irene does my hair, I have a hard time. I bet you do. Alright, what's this? Oops. Oh, I totally blanked on that one, guys. Sorry, I, I switched back over to my controller and it just cut, cut through that one line. Well, we'll go, we'll read it again, guys. Here is a young married man all worried. Ho <laughs> ho. That reminds me when I married the Gree out of the village. He, uh, he, is, he was all panicked. He had never seen a woman from so close. Uh-oh. I... Uh, I'd do better to get out of here before she starts telling me about their wedding night. Run like the wind, Binky! My prince, a man's marriage is a serious thing. Are you sure you're ready? Irene and I, we wanted to get married the day of my coronation. Zama needed this strong symbol for our future. Uh, the Arithi spear become easier to use. Easier is with an I. We tried adding some features, but it really, but it really is too complex. Huh. Not really, no. It is still quite heavy. In fact, I can only use it when I'm in an, an Arionic Ar state. Hmm, it should get better with time. Your father, too, had a hard time when it was entrusted to him by your grandfather. I bet it was. Hey, little guy. Why does everybody call me Muna? It means child in ancestral language. As Juyu means master. Did you just call me a Juyu? Ah, that's why. Wow, this place is huge. Can I keep going? Oh my goodness. Well, those are some interesting looking cattle type situations. Alright. We can't leave though. For the party, I'd like to take the cows to the palace's gardens. They like the herb out there. Er, uh, no, Bobo. We can't let them in. The last time Mammy Makala nearly killed me and I had to endure her bad mood during my meals for the whole week. Too bad. Would have loved for them to celebrate too. I bet you would have. Weird cow farmer man. Alright, I spent the whole morning in the workshop. I'm taking a bit of fresh air. Oh, cool! Little fighting turtles! That's awesome! I'm jealous. Go, go, Raffaello! Show him your ultimate legacy! Yes. Hey, hey, you dodge well. You can do it. All right, that's awesome. I watch over the city children when they are quite agitated. They look like you when you were young. Yep, I was quite agitated too when I was young, wasn't I? You know, I, I vaguely remember finding random things strewn about the town, like herbs or something that I could loot. I'm not really finding them now. Oh, I can go inside huts. I can just be a complete creepy dude. Did I talk to you yet? How do you find your blade, Ujasiri? I was there when the great Hakemas made it. Apparently not bad, I guess. What's in here? The house of Abuam. I'm so happy for Irin. You make a wonderful couple. I'm pretty happy for Irin too, because I am pretty awesome. Also, I'm going to be the king. Royalty! How do I get out of here? There we go. Alright guys, I know we spent about, what, 10 minutes or so walking around, talking to random people, looking at kids and doing whatnot. When you have children, Irene, and you, Irene and you, can we still come and play at the palace? Obviously, I'm counting on you to teach them to play. Nidoshi and Clappers. Sure, that sounds like a fun game, also very weird. When I grow up, I want my son to be just like you, Prince Enzo. Enzo, Enzo. Very, very, very kind of you. Alright, let's see. We've already talked to you. Uh, the Patriarch tells us that we have to be nice to others. That is a good philosophy. Pa'a Amuga tells us stories of Zama. Have I talked to you yet? Hello, Prince Enzo. Not too much stage fright. You know, I give you some helpful tips for the wedding night. Ooh, uh, no, no, that's, that's alright. I should be able to get by. Of course, you are a Cory Odin, after all. I imagine that you are royal at all levels. Oh, dear. <laughs> Turn to find now. Awkward. All right. I think we're done talking, guys. Let's talk to the, the, the guy we came to speak to today. Pa Amuga. Amugo. I don't know. A uh, beautiful day, my son. What does the future king of Zama want from my old beard? Well, do you have any, like, sneakers in there? No? I must ask him all the questions that are nagging me. Origin of Zama. 
A long time ago, Zama was founded by the line of the Koryodin. Our stories speak of Nasser, Koryodin, the first king of Zama. It is said that Nasser led those who did not have a wall far from the Red Veil. Those who did not have a wall? The, the Red Veil? All the stories of Zama speak of it, but no one knows what it actually means. The stories show us the good questions, young king, but each must find his own answers. Alright, what else? Alright, what about the role of the king? The king of Zama defends his people and guides them on the path of um Umoja, the Union. A large part of the people of Zama are made up of the Hakimas, sages who can breathe the Orion into matter. That's practicing the Umoja. Umoja. I can't speak, it's fine. But you have to see further. The Umoja is one way of living, one way of thinking and existing. It's what makes Zama a sacred place that the king defends. I know, I'm failing a little bit on my Decker Cane voice, guys. It's fine. All right, and finally, am I ready? It's the big day. I don't know if I can be a good king. How can I guide others toward the Umoja? I still have too much to learn. Umoja is a path, not a destination. Be patient with yourself. You'll do your best. That's the most important thing. All right. It is time, Prince Enzo. Oh, she's running. Yes. I perceive the Nadem. The whole palace protocol is looking for you. The future queen is losing patience. Here lies Enzo Koryodin, king of Zama, strangled in his bed on his honeymoon. Are you listening to me, majesty? Yes, yes, yes. I'm on my way, Rabiatu. Thanks for coming. Rabiatu. All right, I am going to run into this pole and not get to where I need to go. All right. So onward we go. By the way, guys, there is action and fighting and battles and stuff. Right now, we're just seeing a lot of the storyline unfolding. There's a lot of backstory and history here, and I really wanted to showcase this. I know, like I said, the English, there's certain parts of the English I could definitely improve, but the story is easy enough to follow. Like, the, the few mistakes that are there, they're not they're not game-breaking or, like, ruin the whole story. So just, just be aware, guys, that I'm sure this will slowly be fixed over time. All right, so we're hopping on down to take a look here. Oh, look at that dancer. Yeah, do the wiggle. The Zama Palace, and we're there holding our betrothed. Oh, we have an angry woman near the middle of the screen there looking at us. Brother and sisters of Zama. I guess it would be brothers and sisters. There's no S on brothers. Brothers and sisters of Zama. Today, the light of Maisha shines in our hearts. The Prince Enzo Kori, sorry, Enzo Koryodin, descendant of Nasa, becomes our king and guardian of our people. He also offers us a worthy queen, Arena Vu. The young couple before us has fully completed the ancestral ritual of Nagando. They have swam in the water of the Wari and obtained for us the blessing of the ancestors. Triple Dot! Irene smiles. She must truly be happy. I imagine that this is the most beautiful day of her life. I hope they'll progress quickly. I've got a lot of pain in my feet. It's those shoes. I have to keep the smile above all. Enzo must be happy in this moment. Alright, we're waiting. And this is why we, the four dignitaries of Zama, incarnating the four winds of Duu Ania, we infuse the blessing of the Omoja in your union. Enzo Koryodin. May the woman at your side be the voice which soothes and counsels you in your reign. And may you have many children for Zama. Pity, ancestors, a miracle for a father who has only his beloved daughter. Spare me the torture of seeing her kiss a man. Hmm, my little student is now a king, Namayod. Nabi, 
I hope you're proud of your son and that you're watching him behind the Great Veil. You are now king and queen of Zama. May your reign be prosperous. All right, sweet. Come close to me, Utamu, my sweetness. Who's Utamu? I thought her name was Irene. Angani, my heaven. Who's Angani? Maybe these are like nicknames or love names or something? I don't know. It's very odd to me. Larg. Hmm? The answer to my prayers? Huh. Pr uh, King Enzo, pardon me, I'm late. But on the road to the palace, I saw some uh, rat Ratians who were ransacking the huts of the city. I can confirm there really is a conspiracy against my feet in this city. Do you want to handle it, uh, Juyu Nama? It is not my task to protect Azama. I am neither the king nor the queen of this city. Wow, that's some... Hardcore coldness right there. Why? Why does she always complicate things? Are you going to send the guards? No, she's right. It's up to the king of Zama to defend the city. I will go. I also think that will reassure everyone, but please be careful, okay? Don't worry. It's surely Leoritas and his gang of robbers. Sure. Uh, nothing very dangerous. Before you go, aren't you forgetting something? What king would abandon such a charming duty? Kiss the bride! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Fun stuff. Enjoyable story. I like it so far. Alright, so we managed to succeed at that. We done got hitched. And now we're going to go and do our first battle. <laughs> it was a really good timing. These idiot Zamians left their huts unprotected. Wow. Ratians! Ratians! May this day be our best pillage ever! Gather the loot! Leoritis. They really are Ratians. Look, they all have like giant rat pelts on them. Which is really weird and disturbing because there should be no rats that size. Where is Spariatus? Boss, he went to loot around the palace. Now that kind of thing I don't like. The plan was to stay here. Boss, I think he is coming. Why is he running? Sorry. The co the coco the co Soldier, get your breath back. What's wrong with the Kalu? The Koryodin! And we are here! Prepare to meet your doom. I'm Smokey! Alright, are you guys ready? Ready for some combativeness? Leoritis, king of the Ratiatitis. The what? The Ratiatis? Sure. You and your looters, you really chose a bad day. Enzo Koryodin, the new king of Zama. You've started having hair on the chin. I'm in a good mood today. I leave you one last chance to leave without beating you up. Wow! Ooh, they are angry. A Ratiatit. A rat man never gives up. Charge, rat men! Tonight, we're dining at Zama. Prepare to beat your demise as we go into battle for the first time. I'm a bit rusty. It's been a while since I fought, so let's go back to the basics. Alright. In combat mode, Enzo movements are limited to left and right directions. Press the A button... To make Enzo jump. Next up, press the X to perform basic attacks. Uh, combo and basic attacks can be performed in the air, so press A and then, of course, X to do so. 
Uh, press the right button to summon Arithi, Enzo's spear, which can be used to block enemy attacks. Interesting. Please note, however, that when Enzo blocks attacks, his stamina, I would assume, decreases. When it reaches zero, your guard will be broken. Combat techniques are unlock unlocked while playing through the story. They are visible on the combat HUD. You can equip a maximum of three at a time. Okay. Each technique requires a certain amount of app, or action points, I guess, before it can be used, depending on its position on the combat HUD. There is button combinations for using it. Alright. And finally, using fighting techniques uses up AP. This can be restored by moving the left stick downward, perform an Oronic charge. Or Orionic charge. Isn't that Oronic? Alright. Ratty eights. All priority is to attack his back. These little guys are not laughing today, it would seem. That did not work. Resistant wall. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Alright, I gotta get back into the flow of things, folks, so please bear in mind that I have not played in quite some time. And my combat is not going to be fantastic. Hey, stop counterattacking me, man. I do not appreciate it at all. Boom! And wrecked. Nope, not gonna attack. Never gonna hit me! I just got Niv 2. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's a level? I don't know. Alright, so we're gonna keep leaping around. Getting experience. Oh, look at that block. Can't. Oh! I was gonna say you can't handle can't handle the pressure, but apparently the Coriodin just got wrecked a little bit there. G -g 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 guard break, guard breaking since 1652. All right, we're gonna go left, left stick to the right. And we're gonna use our fire attack there. There it is again. Now we're gonna try the guard break. Oh yeah, mm, get handled. All right, if you look in the top left, we have a bunch of different objects and things that we can do over there, which is pretty cute. All right, we got upgrades. We got uh, more health, more action points, more magic, more strength, I guess? Or fortifi fortitude, maybe? I don't know. Agility, resistance, defense, and stamina. We can scroll to see if we got anything more. Well, that was definitely not the prettiest or cleanest of battles for me, but it, it worked out okay. Back to Central City. Yeah, you've once more defeated us. Kill us so we can die with dignity. Boss, I I, I don't really want to die. Silent soldier, don't shame us in front of the enemy. You fought well, I'll spare you. On the other hand, I will get back what you've stolen. Alright, we got some more Fuller's leaf. Or Fuller's leaf, uh, ginger roots and bread. I will take it all. This is an insult to our honor. Every time it's the same. <laughs> they are the best punching balls. Should be punching bags. In the world, Ju Nama was right. Keeping them alive keeps the guards and me in good... Whoa. No. How dare you? All right, now the real fight begins. As we are invaded once again. Panther operation aborted. Let's move to the Rhino phase. These guys are attacking Zama? What's happening? The orders are to capture the target alive. Catch him! The target? I don't know who you are, but nobody attacks Zama without facing the king's wrath. Come here. I'll have no mercy. Alright, looks like it's time to end the world. No, it's time to do battle once again, folks. 
There are many. I have to think of replenishing my stamina and health, health if it gets complicated. Anyway, folks, just so you guys know, I'm going to go a little bit long with this first episode, and then I'm not sure when the next episode will be. Probably next week. We'll probably do two a week or something like that, and just slowly play through and enjoy the well, the blast of culture and the just the cool game. I, I like it. I like it a lot. All right. That being said, let's see here. The favorites HUD displays items you want to get to quickly while playing. Press the D-pad button according to the position of the item you want to use from the module. The color of the arrow next to the object indicates the meter which will be restored. The value below the item indicates the quantity available in your Kello. Okay. Um, probably needs to increase the length of this thing or get the writing to fit a little bit better because it's going off the screen here. Let's see. Always keep an eye on your meters when they are low. There is a visual indication on the screen with the corresponding meter color suggesting you use an item to restore the appropriate gauge. Okay. Alright, let us begin. They have spears and a large hook. I'll have to touch them. Oh, maybe kill them? Fight them? Hmm. Hold down the right trigger and move the left stick in any direction to perform an astral move. This is an extremely rapid movement over a short distance to avoid certain attacks. So basically a dodge, right? Uh, you can also perform them in the air, but this can't be used to gain height. So you can only move vertical or uh, horizontal. Press X immediately after the astral projection to perform a penetrating hit. Uh, Enzo will stop the astral projection with a powerful elbow hit. Okay, cool. Penetrating hits are a good way to get out of serious situations, but since the technique requires stamina, you need to keep an eye on your stamina meter. Uh, penetrating hits can also break an enemy's guard. It can also paralyze them for a short period. Some bosses are not affected by this. You can take advantage of the short time they are paralyzed to perform combos or a combination of different techniques. And hold down X and release to perform a charged hit. This skill is an alternative to the penetrating hit with the same effects. The only difference is, is that the enemy is not blocking when they are knocked back a certain distance away from Enzo. Or when they're not blocking. Alright, cool. Alright, that being said, let's get to it. Surrender yourself, King of Zama. We also know how to use astral transportation. You won't win. Oh, jeez. What is he doing? Oh, gosh. Uh, Alright. Oh gosh, that didn't feel good. All right, well, we're kind of doing this all right. Well, I, I say we're kind of doing it all right. That is not true at all. Kind of getting wrecked here a little bit. Alright. Continue to beat people to death. It's fine. Hadouken, Hadouken. I feel like there should be a Hadouken sound every time you fire a fireball at people. All right, next up. Oh, he somehow landed that shot. That's amazing. There's a miracle worker here. Ha! You thought you had me. You never had me. I shall gather my energy. I must deal with this timing when he launches himself and dodge. I did. 
I was a boss. You guys see how many times I just dodged in a row? I was a freaking superhero. All right, there we go. The victory was mine. I beat his face in. It was pretty impressive, I know. No, it was very sloppy. But I'm getting the hang of it a little bit better. Getting the hang of it a little bit better. Hey, we're level 3. We gained a bunch of upgrades for our statistics once again. It's pretty sweet. All right, we shall skip this. All right. These guys ran towards the palace. I hope that Irene and the others are fine. I can't perceive Ju Nama's aura either. She's never here when I need her. It seems like Kalus have grown, and I should speak to my injured soldiers to find out what happened. Ah, cool. Alright, Kalus are gourds which contain information or items. When the dialogue icon above Enzo appears, press the X button to interact with the Kalu. Some Kalus can only be used once, after which they dry up and die. Oh, fantastic. Alright folks, I think this is the perfect place to break off the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. There will be more to come on the channel. It's interesting, because it's a left and right fighter. So this is this reminds me of old games like uh, Streets of Rage and like Golden Axe, but in those games you actually had the like full area, like you would fight in this, you'd be like, psh, 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 or even the Ninja Turtle games. But in this one where you um, you go into battle, you actually go into battle and then you fight left and right only, and it adds a whole new combination because you have to do a lot of dodging and other various things, and attacks only work a certain way, you have your ability to block, it's a completely different feel once you get into combat. But... Either way, folks, I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are as well. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you guys in the very next episode. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.